Yes. Uh, and, and now, you may not remember this. this. Number one. Okay. Uh, all this is from uh, about three years ago. David Nealman, CEO of JetBlue Airlines, went on YouTube, of all platforms, went on YouTube to apologize to clients who were stranded in a plane for way too long on a runway, one of his planes. Very transparent. He recognized he's at the top of the food chain. He lives in a fishbowl. And he had a really powerful element of transparency. Those are my lessons to you. Today's lesson involves what do you do when things go bad? And they will. And they will. If you're successful enough. Okay, here we go. When, can you see my uh, bald spot? Get a close-up of that. When things, uh oh when things go wrong. When things, can you read this? Go wrong. Okay. Not the best writing. They will go wrong. Things will happen that you don't expect that you wouldn't anticipate or appreciate. Recognize, A, you live in a fishbowl. If you're a celebrity, a politician, a CEO, there's a lot of media attention, whether it's good or bad. Uh, so you can't expect all that attention to go away just because things aren't falling in your favor. It's going to come. Secondly, social media. There are a lot of platforms now to give you attention and to speak about your brand, your commodity, your company. And they may not all be traditional media. They may be social media brands. Are you even going to know if there's negative stuff being said about you if you're not engaged in these social media dialogues? You've got you've to be a part of the conversation. Monitor what's being said. Have a blog. Have a Twitter account. Recognize that there are conversations going on all the time. And you at least need to listen, even if you're not engaging in every one. And the third lesson is transparency. Just like David Nealman was transparent on YouTube, you can be transparent too. You don't have to admit legal liability, but you do have to say something to the effect of, I recognize this is unfortunate and there are people who have been harmed and we're going to do everything we possibly can to correct this wrong and I'll get back to you when I know more. Tiger Woods, I mean, you could have said something that simple uh, to deflate a lot of this negative publicity that's coming your way now. Um, things will go bad. Are you prepared when things go wrong?